Hello friends. In this little small series, we are going to be talking about different things that raw vegans, different foods, items that people who are in the raw industry keep in their diets, but they're not really raw. Today we're going to be talking about coconut aminos. Coconut aminos, coconut aminos are heated to stop fermentation. There used to be a time and point where coconut aminos was raw, but it is no, this is no longer the case. They are no longer raw. Coconut aminos is one of the things that most raw vegans like to keep in their diet to help them stay high raw because this is, so the coconut aminos is perfect like to put um, on your vegetables to help marinate your vegetables. It's perfect for that. Coconut aminos are great are a great substitute for soy sauce if you like soy sauce then coconut aminos is a perfect substitute for that of course it's not as rich as traditional soy sauce but it is a milder it has a milder flavor a little bit more um, savory sweet savory flavor if you like that then you will like coconut aminos you would like to keep that in your diet help you stay high raw. So for my research, coconut aminos are not raw. But again, most raw vegans love to keep this in their diet to help them stay high raw. And this is okay. This is okay to be high raw because really there is no perfection. No one is perfect. No one that I have ever seen is 100% raw, period. There is only high raw. That is the only thing that exists. And don't be hard on yourself if you have something like coconut aminos, if you have nuts and seeds, if you have certain herbs or spices, if you have um, nutritional yeast, um, just a variety of different things that are not raw, if you have them in your dressings, if you have them in any part of your diet, don't feel bad about that because most, no, I'm not gonna say most, 100% of raw vegans do have items in their diets that are not raw, which makes them high raw, not 100% raw. So don't be hard on yourself and incorporate whatever you need to do to keep you high raw.